Hi, my name's Claire Penny and I'm a clinical nurse specialist that works within the CAMS crisis team in Harrogate. So we are a crisis and home treatment service and we work with young people who are experiencing a deterioration in their mental and emotional health. We work with young people up until their 18th birthday. If a young person needs extra support after their 18th birthday, we will make a transferal to the adult services who will continue that piece of work. The children and young people who contact us are usually young people who are experiencing a deterioration in mental health, can be having thoughts to harm themselves or sometimes harm other people and feel like they have no one to talk to. We understand that crisis can mean different things to different people and we aim to listen to the young person and their families and offer support and this may mean signposting them to other services or a best place to offer intervention. Anybody can make a referral to the crisis team, that can be the child, the young person, family members, carers or other professionals who are significantly concerned about a deterioration in the young person's mental or emotional well-being. This is a telephone referral. The Harrogate, Scarborough and York services run 10 while 10, seven days a week. However, in Hamilton and Richmondshire, it's a 24 hour service. If a young person is over the age of 16, they can also contact the adult services, which is available online. If you are significantly concerned about a young person outside of those hours, you must attend A&E or dial 111. If the young person is referred to the crisis team, they can expect to be listened to. If it feels appropriate that the crisis team will assess the young person, then we aim to do so within four hours. However, if it feels that another service may best to meet that young person's needs, we will always offer support, give it information of useful numbers and services that may be best met. We generally meet with children and young people at home where they feel most comfortable. However, sometimes it feels appropriate that we see young people either in the hospital or at school. We will always talk to young people and their families and carers about this first and ensure that this is a safe place to do so. If a young person's difficulties are such that we feel that they need ongoing crisis team support, we can offer support for up to eight weeks through our home treatment team. A care plan will then be written alongside the young person, their families and the other organisations that work alongside them to ensure that goals are easily achieved. The crisis team will support a young person by offering assessment and then follow up. If it feels appropriate, the crisis team will offer a short piece of home treatment with the young person and their families. We will then aim to either discharge or transfer the young person's care to a different service. Within the crisis team, we always aim to respect the confidentiality of the young people that we work alongside. However, if we're worried about you or somebody else, or maybe that somebody's hurt you, we may have to have conversations with other services. We will always try and talk to you about that first. These other services may include the community team, children's social care, or it could be a conversation with your families and carers. We will not share private information about you in regards to your identity, sexuality or gender. That's personal to you and it's your right to tell people as you're ready. We can, however, refer you to other services who may be able to help you with this or introduce you to other young people who have similar experiences. Given that this is a crisis service, we do aim to see young people within four hours. However, we understand that that four hours can seem like a long time. Working with a young person, it's important not to leave them alone. Maybe ask them what kind of things they do to help reduce their own anxieties. That could be listening to music, just talking or listening to somebody, keeping somebody calm. 